Hi there, Chris, Chapman the Camp, Moto Legends. Today I want to talk to you about one of our favourite pairs of boots, one of our favourite boot styles from the Swiss company Roka, and it's the Urban Racer boot. In a recent Trustpilot testimonial, one of our customers wrote that he'd enjoyed watching our rather interesting but nerdy video reviews. He gave us five stars, so I don't think he was trying to be rude, but personally I've taken a bit of flack for that comment. There's now a sign on my door that says the nerd and all internal memos are similarly addressed. But the fact is that I'm not too upset because the truth is that we are a little bit nerdy here. We are into the detail. We are interested in learning and knowing how stuff works and we take a somewhat nerdy pleasure in providing those explanations to our customers. So the review of these boots, the Roka Urban Racers, are going to be very much in this vein. The first thing that I want to say is that this is not an inexpensive boot. It's an expensive boot and it begs the question, is expensive stuff worth paying for? Now the problem is that it's hard for you to tell whether something is worth paying for or isn't. And that's understandable because the makers of budget products work very hard to copy the designs of the more expensive brands. So you go into a motorcycle shop and you look at, at two boots. They both look pretty much the same. They've both got a full grain leather. They've got a waterproof membrane. They've got protectors in the ankles, in the heel and the toe. They've got a rubber sole. They've got a gear change pad. How are you to know? Now, in such a scenario, many assume that the expensive version is a ripoff. They believe that perhaps they're paying for some fancy brand name or for the brand's marketing. And sometimes that is true, but equally, sometimes it is not. Now, there are many boots that look like these Rokas, but I think in this instance, if you pay half as much for a pair of boots, and indeed you can pay half as much because these are a 300 pound pair of boots and there are lots of boots out there that are similar in style for 150 pounds. But our view is that if in this instance you pay half as much, there's a good chance that you're actually gonna get a boot that is half as good. So first observation, this boot actually does not have a waterproof membrane. It's made from a hydrophobic leather. That's the same kind of leather that Daytona use and basically that leather expels water but the boots are still very waterproof. Now Sean our shop manager here commutes in a pair of these over the winter and he tells us that his feet never get wet. Remember also that when you have a boot without a membrane they're going to be so much nicer because they're going to be so much more breathable to wear in the summer. So let's take a closer look at some of the detail on this boot. Now luckily the boots come in half sizes. Half sizes get it. That's really funny. You've got to admit that's funny. Graham, isn't that funny? It's pretty funny. The boot is made from a vegetable tanned full grain leather. Now it's a very strong leather, quite a thick leather, but a very supple leather. The outer is then lined entirely with calfskin for comfort. And between the calfskin lining and the outer layer of leather, you've got a sandwich of foam around the tongue, along the tongue, and in the ankle and the upper part of the shaft. And that again is for added comfort. But the distinguishing feature of this boot is that it's made with what is known as a Goodyear welt. Now, a Goodyear welt is a very traditional way of making a boot or shoe. It's how the best gentlemen's boots and shoes have been made for the past 150 years. It's quite an expensive form of construction, but it has a number of benefits. One of them is that you have a particularly comfortable footbed, which I'll come back to later. It also makes the outer sole more waterproof, so water won't come through and reach the foot. Lastly, it makes the outer sole much easier to replace. Now, the welt, as it's called, is normally a strip or bead of leather that goes all the way around the outside of the shoe. It is stitched to the upper part of the shoe and then to the first sole, what is known as the upper sole. You then get a layer of cork that is sandwiched between the upper sole and the midsole. And that's why a Goodyear welted boot is so comfortable because what happens is over time, your foot creates an impression in that cork. The boot literally molds around you. Now, in the Urban Racer, you also get a metal shank and that is put into the sandwich for rigidity. It's something that we see in Daytona boots, but you certainly don't see it in most boots and I'm not sure that I've ever seen it in a short boot. 
The midsole is then stitched through that welt to the rubber outer sole. In this case, it's a Vibram outer sole. You get a poly guard, a polyethylene guard in the toe and heel for extra rigidity, and you get an extra layer of leather over the toe and heel, again for strength. The boot doesn't really have a gear change pad per se, they've got a token one here on the side, but with the extra layer of leather over the cap, you really don't need anything more than that. The other stuff about this boot is detail really, it's a little bit nerdy. The boot is what we call an eight eyelet derby. Now, a derby as opposed to an Oxford is a boot or a shoe where the quarters are sewn on the top of the vamp. It creates an open lacing system as opposed to a closed lacing system. It just makes a boot or shoe easier to get in and out of. In this case, the lacing system is made even easier because the top three eyelets are actually speed hooks. The Urban Racer has a shaft that's about eight inches high. That's actually quite a tall shaft for a short boot. You get a leather tab at the rear of the boot to help pull them on. What else can we tell you about the boot? Well, actually quite a bit because over the last few years, we've sold thousands of pairs. What I must tell you is you do not buy a pair of these boots expecting to be superbly comfortable from day one. This is a traditional handmade bench boot. It's made with the toughest, most durable, high quality components. They need to be worn in over time. So the kind of boot that you'll, on your first day, you'll wear them for a few hours, a few more hours the next day, and you'll continue doing that until they are fully bedded in. Eventually they will become superbly comfortable, but you need to be patient with them. If by contrast you want a boot that's comfortable from day one, if you want to be able to buy a pair of boots and then walk up a mountain tomorrow, save the expense, save the hard work, buy a pair of TCX X-Blends. Now, everyone who buys a pair of X-Blends says that they are supremely comfortable, but in truth, if you get three years out of a pair of TCXs, I think you will be doing well. By contrast, buy a pair of Rokers, and my expectation would be, provided you give them a little bit of TLC, you'll be wearing this same boot in 10 years time. As with Daytonas, we can replace the soles and the heels. Don't worry, we don't send them to Timpsons. We have got a specialist, a factory trained specialist who does a brilliant job. It takes about a week or so. We can also supply, by the way, the original laces. So what else can, can we tell you? Um, it's probably the widest fitting short boot on the market. So if you do have a, a wide foot, if you come to the shop, this is the boot that we'll normally end up looking at. If by contrast you have a very narrow foot, this might just be this might not be the boot for you. If you're looking for extra waterproofing, and we don't think you need it, but you have to treat the leather to keep it moist, the best thing is to give it a light covering now and again with some mink oil. We would say don't go for Dubbin. Dubbin's a bit clumsy, it'll block all the pores, it'll stop these boots being breathable in the summer. So that's it, the Roka Urban Racer boots. We love these boots, we think they look the business, they are tough beyond belief, but over time they become as comfortable as a pair of slippers. So why are we doing a video about them right now? Well, the fact is that Roka have decided to discontinue this boot, but the boot that is replacing it, we just do not like, which is why we have ordered a new batch of these boots. We've ordered it in two colors, the light brown and the standard brown, and they've just arrived with us. So don't think about it for too long because these boots are not gonna be around for that much longer. To see more, gear from Roka, visit the website motolegends.com. To learn more about the Roka Urban Racer boots, then if you click on one of the links on the screen, sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down there, that will take you directly to the relevant page on our website. There you can check out the spec in a little bit more detail, you can check availability, and obviously if you really like the boots, you can buy a pair there and then. Now, when you do buy from us, we try to make the process simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on any item of protected where you buy from us, returns are totally free, and what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return something to us. We have the best price promise in the business. Now, John Lewis is rightly famed for its never knowingly undersold price guarantee. We go one stage better. If you can find anyone selling anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat that price by 10%. If the retailer is in the EU and not in the UK, we will match their landed price. There are a few terms and conditions, nothing particularly onerous, but if you are going to price beat us, I suggest you visit the website and check out what those terms and conditions are. Now, if in the future you want to receive bulletins from us about new products, then if you go to the website, at the top of every page, there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up. Click on there, within seconds you'll be in business. In future, you'll receive our email bulletins. If however you prefer to get your information videographically, that is to see in this form, 
then we would be delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Now, this is 2020, before the end of the year, we're going to be giving away what we are calling a Steve McQueen tribute bike to one of our YouTube subscribers. It's a lovely little cutie, this machine. It's based on a Mutt 125cc bike. You can read all about it on the homepage of our website or on the front page of our YouTube channel. I'd like to finish with a little plug for our fabulous shop here in Guildford. We are based about a mile from the centre of town, a mile from the railway station. As I've said, the shop itself has a fairly small footprint, but next to it is our warehouse. Attached to the shop is our warehouse, where we have more than two million pounds worth of stock. It technically makes this the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the country. But we think that we are far more than just about the amount of merchandise we have here in the building. We're all about service and we're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out and visit Trustpilot, we have the highest five-star ranking in the business. We'll serve you only the finest Italian Italy coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might even get to taste one of Sean's mum's delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.